Eva Sands will go off, off at odds on. Sammy Allen laid a five and a half thousand pound to five. 11 to 10 against is now generally six to five on when many bookmakers are showing five to four on with seven to two bar the one. And Amber Moss in the light blue towards the back and Balling Clay King was the last to jump away in a nose band out the back. And it's Grey Abbey. Exit to Wade, Gotha. The outside of those, they take the first fence. by Eva Sands on the inside, on the wide outside, and the red and grey jacket, Nordic crest. His trainer, Paul Weber, is just one at Kempton, as we saw with Road Racer. Amber Moss and Balling Clay King, the back two over the next. Exit to Wave, rather fiddled that in third place. Interesting that uh, horse not fitted with a tongue strap, not declared with a tongue strap today. Worn one in his recent outings to good effect. Grey Abbey and Gotha one and two. As I approach the last in the back straight exit to Wave in third. And Wahiba Sands, good jump there. Tony McCoy's mount, Amber Moss, Nordic Preston, Balling Clay King held up in last place. Well, JP McNamara, the on Paddy's return a bit later on. The infamous Paddy's return, villain of the piece, villain of the canal turn. Grey Abbey by a couple of lengths to Gotha. Wahiba Sands on the near side of exit to Wave. Nordic Crest on the back two, near side. Amber Moss of Balling Clay King down towards the next plane fence. Grey Abbey, a, a very accurate jump on the far side. Extremely likeable chaser, Grey Abbey. Goes well here at air. He's won three times around here. Gotha in second place on the outside in the colours which will be carried by Jean Jambre in the Scottish National. Jean Jambre who won this race 12 months ago. Wahiba Sands and England. And, and Gotha is down there. Gotha a faller. And that uh, fence uh, right in front of the stands taking another casualty. Obviously not to be played with. That fence needs a lot of respect. And Gotha's up on his feet, looking back the jockey Andrew Thornton who will be his due to partner Jean Jambre he's just sitting up at the moment hopefully he's alright as they swing away and it's still the grey abbey that lobs along happily in front with Wahiba Sands next on the inside of Exit to Wave, Balling Clay King taking closer order next up the inner of Nordic Crest but they've dropped Amber Moss who is a long way adrift now as they enter the back straight Five fences in a line down here. Grey Abbey and Brian Harding on the inside of Tony McCoy, five times champion, about to become six times champion. Draws alongside on Wahiba Sands in the blue and green jacket. Exit to wave in third. Then Balling Clay King and now Nordic Crest is beginning to feel the pinch. Going towards this next one, Grey Abbey rather reach for it. It's away to the right. Wahiba Sands and exit to wave second and third. Wahiba Sands went off the 11 to 10 on favourite. Andrew Thornton is on his feet after that fall from Gotha. Looks okay as they approach the next. And Grey Abbey once again from Wahiba Sands. Exit to wave on the far side. Balling Clay King is plenty close enough. About three or four lengths down in fourth place. Wahiba Sands, a definite mistake there, and gets a reminder or two for his trouble from Tony McCoy. Banning Clay King driving up his inside, but this Grey Abbey still going along well in front and skips over the next, lands a length and a half in front of the favourite. Balling Clay King in third, then exit to wave, and Nordic Crest is trying to rally as they run out of the back straight and approach home with four fences to jump. And it's still Grey Abbey, who's got Wahiba Sands under pressure in second. Balling Clay King looks ready to de deliver a challenge. Uh, he's giving weight to the other pair as they run down the straight. Grey Abbey, bold jump there. Wahiba Sands ploughed through it in second. Balling Clay King goes second on the outside, then exit to wave. But Grey Abbey has been a lovely display so far. He's got three flight fences to jump. Grey Abbey, another good, accurate leap. Balling Clay King in hot pursuit second. Wahiba Sands is sunk in third. Abismark exit to wave next. Here's the second last. Grey Abbey by five to six lengths to Balling Clay King. 
and Brian Harding looking round for the dangers on the leader, Grey Abbey, who's galloping on really strongly with one fence left to go. Grey Abbey again, oh, great jump once more. Valen Clay King got in too close in second and is tired, then exit to wave with Nordic Press running on and Wahiba Sam's only fifth, but Grey Abbey is going to trot in and a fine display of jumping by the Grey, the air course specialist, exit to wave in second, Nordic Crest in third, then Balling Clay King, Wahiba Sands was disappointing and was the last to complete because Amber Moss was pulled up. Well, a 10 to 1 winner, Grey Abbey, and his fourth win from his last five starts. 10 to 1, clear four favourite. He's exited to wave at 9 to 2 with Nordic Crest third. At 30